Nazila yo muti mana soe lako Ope sanga na moyo yo butu pime langai Obongi silanga uyo mokili bibi sayi Ozongi silanga ya mutu ya abungi sayi
our chief guest has arrived. May I request everyone to kindly stand. In praise especially on this occasion when we gather together Kabul Anandiketan Junior School with their teachers and we pray Lord that there will be ambassadors to, the, to this school, this junior school. We pray for your blessings upon this function Heavenly Father that it may all happen according to your holy will in a smooth manner. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I also like to take this opportunity to welcome our heads from the senior school, Mrs. Roma Das, our senior vice principal academics, and Mr. Amit Samson, vice principal administration, for being here with us. Welcome, sir. Welcome, ma'am. We welcome our dear parents and our guests to our graduation ceremony 2015-16. The Bible tells us in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 12, don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example in speech, in life, in love, in faith, and in purity. Today we have 173 children who would be graduating from junior school. And our prayer is that even as our little ones move to the senior wing, they would continue to be a shining light and imitate the Lord Jesus Christ in all that they do and say. God bless each one of you, even as you share and celebrate this special day with us. Three students are indeed special today. A poem, You Are Special, recited by Ashwaka of Class 2, expresses these sentiments. Now, 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 it's time for you to move on to a class that's higher than six. It was joy seeing you grow each day into all that you ought to be. As you leave all that is familiar, your teachers, your classes, at seats, you are moving on to something new and bigger where you will learn to achieve new feet. You may not always like what you are told or the situation you find yourself in. Remember, it's just the loving heart of your teachers molding you into all that you destined to be. Never forget you are a very special person created with a fantastic plan. Just trust your creator. He makes no mistakes. He has worked it all out. Before the scrolls are given out, we have a word of promise from the Holy Bible. Philippians chapter 4 verses 4 to 8 for our young graduates as they leave the portals of the junior school. Philippians chapter 4 verses 4 to 8 Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything. But in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving present your requests to God and the peace of God which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Now I invite one child each from class 3A and class 3B to share their experiences in the junior school. Good morning everyone. I am Anna Thomas of class 3A. 
Today has come the day when I have to share my memories of five years in my school and say goodbye to my lovely junior school. It was April 2011 when I was scared about entering a new school and meeting new teachers and friends. But today I feel proud to be a part of MCS family. It is my second home that has molded me from clay to a finished sculpture. I still remember my days in nursery, being junior most class, being loved by my teachers and seniors pulling my cheeks to say hi cutie with the years passing by and the excitement of growing up and going to one class to another and becoming a senior in class 3 was a great experience. Becoming Shanti House Girl Captain was a great responsibility and I was thankful for the trust shown on me by my teachers. My teachers have nurtured me from a small bird to a grown up sapling so that I am all prepared to step up to the next class now. Today I have a mixed feeling of being joyful and sad to leave junior school and go to senior school. I will miss my school, my teachers and my juniors. I wish time could have stopped and I have been with you all. But I have to look forward. I said in Bible verse, Jeremiah 29 verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. So I wish you all a good luck and a good bye. May God be always with you. Thank you. This is Shriyadita Kadyan from class 3B. Today, I am here to share my wonderful experience in MCA Junior School, which I will cherish throughout my entire life. My journey from Nursery B to 3B has been very special for me. I remember each bit of this beautiful journey right from the first step in the school with a lot of apprehensions as I had very little confidence. Then meeting my different teachers who taught me so many things and helped me to build confidence in me to stand in front of you all today. MCS Junior has been a dream come true for me as it taught me to be independent. I started interacting with different people, both children and adults in school. Apart from academic, I learned new skills and performed new tasks. Today, I remember getting all those blue cards, my super achiever badges and my prefect badge which incorporate sense of healthy competition in me. Above all, MCS taught me to have faith in God, be calm kind and positive in life. Now I simply want to thank all my teachers, school support staff from the bottom of my heart. Thank you all. Thank you Anya and Shreya Ditta. Having overcome many obstacles, we are finally proud to stand you as a testimony of God's faithfulness and guidance in our lives and we thank him for everything. This is exactly what the song by the choir talks about. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the junior school choir as they present the song Standing Proud.
Now Anubhav and Mohammed are sharing their experiences with us. Good morning. I am Anubhav from 3C. Dear teachers and my friends, Mount Carmel School has been very loving and kind for me. In school, surrounded by my teachers and friends, I've always felt very happy and pampered. Values of dis discipline, honesty and faith in God, which all of us have learnt in MCS, will forever remain with me. As we move from this white building to a rectangular one across the street, fond memories of my interactions with teachers and friends will flash across my mind. Thank you MCS for loving me so much and to ensure that I always have a smile on my face. Thank you. Arora. Anya Thomas. Suhavi Singh. Kanak Agrawal. Sana Pile. Harkiran Kaur. Shelta Kadyan Arshia Verma Anushka Chachdi Sanjam B. Singh Ashnur Kaur Alicia Matthews Sia Vora Saksham Arora Adya Arora Kurnur Kaur Sadak Burman Manraj Pal Singh Congratulations to you all. Next, it is the turn of the high achievers. That is, those students who have scored A1 in three subjects and an A2 in the fourth subject in both the terms put together. San, Sa, Swanek Negi Sanvi Dagar Meher Sahani Ahana Gulati Khushi Mansukhani Aryan Arora Kirat Singh Grewal Palash Morya Gabriel Anubhav Pav Krishna Sohan Das Thank you sir Well done friends and congratulations now the scrolls for rest of the students of class 3 will be given away. May I request Mrs. Roma Das to kindly give away the scrolls to classes 3A and 3B.
We begin with class 3A. Laksh Gehlot. Akanksha Kashyap. Rajvi Singh. Iram Zahir. Tanmay Gaur. Shubh Chaudhary. Alisha Ibrahim. Akshat Jain. Aryan Rastogi. Vasudha Kot. Daksh Kanojia. Bennett Sunny. Mr. Amit Samson, Vice Principal, Admin, Mount Tamil School, Anand Niketan, to kindly give away the remaining stalls to classes 3C and 3D. We have 3C now. Navya Varma. Philomena Eri. Prerna Chaudhary Damanjit Singh Parneta Sharma Adrim Sood Mehet Anudraya Varma Da Emmy <coughs> Atharva Singh Aaron Bugalia Said Bakshi Sadak Berman Haven't I forgotten someone? Oh, it's me, Ashnur Sani. <laughs> well, the psalmist says, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I want to take this opportunity to really thank our Lord Jesus Christ for the wonderful sunny day that he has given us this morning. Yesterday when we walked into school with the black clouds and the overcast sky and there was a downpour, we prayed and said, Lord, tomorrow is graduation and we pray for good weather and we can all witness and testify the God, God's goodness and faithfulness yet again. And we are all here in oneness celebrating this graduation ceremony and we all praise and glory to the Lord Jesus Christ. Graduation is a time for reflection of the past, the accomplishments of the present and the possibilities of the future. Your child, your parents entered Mount Carmel School five years ago not by chance or by accident, but it was God's plan and purpose for their lives. Our students who walked in to the portals of Mount Carmel Junior School as shy, timid and hesitant tiny tots, today would be graduating from the junior school as bold and confident boys and girls. Last week we had our farewell in school for the students of the outgoing class and I had shared with them a passage from the Bible and encouraged them to continue to shine brightly even as they move to the senior school and this morning I'd like to read the same passage for you and encourage each one of us as adults to help our children as they embark on this wonderful journey that lies ahead. The passage that I'd like to read is taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 5, 
verses 13 to 16. The Bible says, Ozongi selang 